Okay, so up our next video on differential equations, and these are setting them up and then solving them. So from our math back in high school, if something's directly proportional, we could say y equals kx, where k is some constant, and if they're indirect, indirectly proportional, y equals k over x, where k is some constant. And most rate questions are with respect to time. So copy that and come across. Okay, so we're just going to work our way through some examples. Um, the rate of growth of a town's population n is 5% of its population any time t measured in years. If the population is currently 100,000 when t equals zero, find the population any time t and the population in three years. Okay, so first thing we do is the rate of growth. So dn dt is uh, proportional to the number. Okay, so it's directly proportional. And then this is your uh, proportion. So, so the rate of growth depends on the population and that's the constant of proportionality. And just to get rid of decimals, 0.05 is the same as 1 over 20. Okay, so next step obviously is we flip it. So we've got dt dn equals 20 over n. So t equals the integral of 20 over n with respect to n. So the letters match up. So we end up with 20 log n plus a constant. Okay, so that we find the constant from this information. So 0 equals 20 uh, log 100,000 plus c. So c will equal minus 20 log 100,000, 100,000, need a zero, that's it. Um, and that's your value of C, I'm just checking, yep. So your formula could be written as da -da -doom, T equals 20 log N minus 20 log 100,000 equals 20 bracket log n minus log 100,000 close bracket and that could be written as a fraction so we've got 20 log n over <coughs> 100,000 full stop okay so that's your population oh no we're gonna make n the subject of course where that's the time as a subject so t over 20 equals log n over 100,000. So n over 100,000 equals e to the t on 20. So n equals 100,000 e to the t on 20, finally. And that's the first part of the question. Second part of the question is, what's the population in three years? So, n, this is part b, equals 100,000 e to the 3 over 20. And when you put that in the calculator, you get about that number of people. Okay, copy that and come across. Okay, next one. Sample of radioactive material loses half of its radioactive nuclei every 1,200 years. So that's called that's called the half life. If it's losing half, that's its half life. If the rate of decay is proportional to the number of atoms present, so it's a direct proportion, find to the nearest year the time taken to decay to 30% of its original amounts. Okay, so we start off with the n dt is directly proportional to the number of things dt dn equals 1 over kn kn dn so we get 1 over k log n plus a constant um, um, so when t equals 0 the Population equals the original size, so NO, that's the subscript for that, original. So 0 equals 
1 over k log n o plus c so c equals minus 1 over k log n o so t equals 1 over k log n minus 1 over k log n o so we end up with 1 over k bracket lo log n over n o then k t equals log n over n o therefore e to the k t equals n over n o and I think last step n equals n o e to the k t and in fact all growth and decay questions end up being that form um, at the end of the day and then we've got what's the information we've got 1200 years um, so I'm just going to pause for a sec hang on so I'm just back I was just making sure we've got to find the value of k so we can do it from here so the number is going to be half the original so it's going to be half the original so whatever this number is here is half of that number there so a half equals e to the k times 1200 years so log a half equals k times 1200 so k equals log a half divided by 1200 and on your calculator uh, do, 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 that equals I just haven't got my number with me at the moment uh, I'm just going to pause for a sec okay I'm back I just got my calculator off my desk so that equals minus 5.776 by 10 to the negative 4 which is the same as minus 0 0.0005776 you've got all the numbers in okay so then the question asks us to so this formula is n equals n o e to the minus zero 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 five seven seven I think there was a six there yep six and the value t and then the question said when will it get down to 30 percent so this number here will be 30 percent of that so it's point three equals e to the minus oh 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 five seven seven six t so log of point three equals minus oh 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 five seven seven six t so t equals log point three divided by oh 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 five seven seven six and according to my calculator I think it was equal to two thousand and eighty four years okay let's have a look and see what the next thing is next page okay so we're going to do a question on Newton's rate of cooling which is another application um, and again like crime scene examiners also use Newton's rate of cooling we're going to so the rate of cooling of a body is proportional to the excess of its temperature of that of its surroundings so when they go looking for the body they take the temperature of the body but they also take the temperature of the air around it and then obviously make an assumption about cooling through the night and things like that so basically uh, the temperature change with respect to time is proportional to the difference between the temperature and the surroundings okay so copy that around copy that down and we'll have a look okay so a loaf of bread at a temperature of 20 is placed in a freezer with with the temperature of minus 15 so that's the difference that's going to be between those two um, if it takes 80 minutes to drop eight degrees how much longer to drop to zero so the bread's frozen okay so dt dt the rate of change is k t minus t t s so it's going to be t minus minus 15 so it's going to be k t, t plus 15 then we flip equals 1 over k t plus 15 close brackets 
so t equals integral 1 over k t plus 15 with respect to t so we get 1 over k log bracket t plus 15 plus a constant um, so when t equals 0 temperature was 20 that's right so 0 equals 1 over k log uh, 35 plus C Let's hang on a sec back again so C equals minus 1 over K log 35 so the formula is T equals 1 over K log T plus 15 minus 1 over K log 35 equals 1 over K log T plus 15 over 35 yep and then we use the other information 18 minutes and 8 degrees so uh, 18 equals 1 over K log 23 over 35 so 1 over K equals 18 divided by log 23 over 25 so K equals the opposite and when you put that on your calculator oh god I haven't done that either um, clear my calculator uh, log 23 divided by 25 close bracket divided by 18 equals okay minus 4.6323 by 10 to the minus 3 which is the same as minus 0046323 Okay, from there, try to answer the question now. How long does it take to get to zero? Um, so the formula, where's the t time formula? So we've got T equals um, T equals 1 over K minus O O four six three two three, so that's that part that part sorry and then log t capital t is going to be zero so it's 15 of 35 and when you put that on your calculator i got 36.325 so about uh 36 minutes so therefore need another 18 minutes because it was already at 18 minutes to get there so to get to, to get to um, to get to zero it's going to take 36 minutes so you need another 18 minutes okay I think that might be the last one okay so it'll be an exercise on Moodle uh, thanks bye